Ready for me, Keith? 200 years ago, this institution's first president, Thomas Telford, submitted his proposals for his masterpiece, the beautiful Menai Suspension Bridge. This was a huge leap forward for bridge engineering at the time, and a real world first. 30 years later, Robert Stevenson treated this to a second hugely ambitious um, bridge over the Menai. This long tube lid design was another exciting world first. A third crossing is now in the pipeline, and Welsh Government have recently consulted on a range of structure types and routes next to the Britannia Bridge. One big problem with this is that the new bridge is likely to overwhelm or confuse the form of the existing grade listed bridge. They included a plenty of inf information on all the options and a cold analysis of all this data shows that a four lane balanced cantilever bridge along the purple route provides the best option in terms of things like horizontal alignment, cost benefit ratio and pretty much everything else. Unfortunately though, this is going to be built in an area of outstanding natural beauty and it's a bit underwhelming to look at. This style of bridge might fit the aesthetic of say over three other motorways but it doesn't really enhance the landscape in the way that the other two bridges have. I wonder what Thomas Telford would make of it. Rubbish! <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that, Thomas. But yes, I think we can do better. What we could do to enhance this legendary landscape? A, le a landscape of dragons, of kings and giants, of myths and legends. Like the legend of Bendig Adran, the giant king from the Mabinogion Tales. He travelled to Ireland to save his sister Branwen from a cruel husband, Matholoch, but he was way too big to fit in any boat, so he set off on foot and waded across the Irish Sea. When the Irish saw this spectacle, they bravely ran away and burned the bridge, leaving a deep ravine behind them. Undeterred, Ben de Gaedran bellowed, Trabod Ben bid bont, the one who leads must be a bridge, and he reached over the gap, allowing his men to cross. His Inspired by this, I give you Pont Bendigade Run. This takes the best bridge option, but replaces the central support with a giant statue of Bendigade Run, wading in the Menai to hold up the bridge. Is this practical? Well, this type of structure is not unheard of. Split supports and even curved concrete supports can be found in many other bridges. All we're really doing is adding a head. <laughs> Will it spoil the views? Well, there are three main locations where you can see the Britannia Bridge, and it can be shown that if Ben de Gaedran is very carefully placed on the location of that yellow dot, something magical happens. From Church Island, Ben de Gaedran is in line with the existing bridge support, meaning that the new bridge is almost invisible from here. From the Nelson Memorial, Ben de Gaedran is framed by Britannia's northern archway in front of it, and similarly, from the lay-by, Britannia is Bendigay Van is perfectly framed by the southern archway of the Britannia Bridge behind. The two bridges complement each other beautifully. So, when I see 400 rolls round, do we want them to remember us for building this or this? Thank you.